the Dyson Air app. Is it worth it? Oh my god. I don't like it. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today is part two of things I bought because of TikTok and I'm gonna start off strong with this one with the Revolution One Step and also uh, the Dyson. So I like to buy both. I like to buy the dupe as well as the actual product. Um, usually I buy the dupe first to see if I kind of like how it does things and then I buy the actual one. Uh, but yeah, so first up, I bought this first. I bought this last year sometime. Um, when I first bought it, I hated it, didn't like it. I feel like that's the same with like a lot of products when you're just not used to it, because obviously it does take a while to get used to. But once you get used to it, this is incredible. And if the Dyson is out of your price range, because it is ridiculously expensive, this is perfect. I think it's around 50 pounds, 40, 50 quid. So it's it's pretty good really for a hair dryer. So make sure your hair is 80% wet. 80% wet, 80% dry, and you do it like you would any kind of brown brush, you know, da -da 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 -da, and then hold it. That is an important thing. You hold it. Um, does it have a cool, oh yeah, it has a cool setting as well. So, you know, you do the different settings, blah, blah, blah. And then you put it on cool. That is important. That's important with the Dyson. It's important with this. Put it on the cool, and then yeah. It is really, really good. My only issue with it is it does feel like it's damaging your hair, but your hair looks good. So, is it worth it? In my opinion, yes, but it might not be for you. Um, I like it because it's cheap. I don't really use it anymore because I have the Dyson, but it is it is good. Um, it's also probably quicker than the Dyson because it's bigger. But again, it feels like it's kind of damaging your hair, so it's like, ooh. But I might take this on holiday with me because it's it's um, it's smaller than the Dyson. The Dyson Air app, is it worth it? Oh my god. It is expensive. That is the main takeaway. I think it's like 450 quid. It's, it's expensive. Um, I like it. I got it as a graduation gift. Um, I'd seen it all over TikTok and I just, I'd always wanted it. I think it's just so nice. It comes with this beautiful box. Um, there is also another colour in it now, I know that, but I've just got like the basic normal colour. Yeah, you've got this. Oh my gosh, there's hair all over it because I use it all the time. And it's what I used on my hair today actually. So there you go. That is everything that's in it. Um, I use these two tools the most. So the dryer to make sure my hair's kind of wet and then the round brush. I never really thought I'd use the round brush that much, but I, this is the tool I use the most, which is why like that's a good dupe for it. Like I think people think, oh well, it's not a good dupe because the air app's famous for the other things, but most people use this with the air app. If you see like the nice like curls people do, it's probably with this. The nice blow dry look, it's this. Amazing, incredible. So we love her, uh, and then this just a rough dry. People say it's not a good dryer, but I think it is. It's the actual thing. So you've got like three heat settings, three like power settings. I usually put it on the highest because why not and yeah uh, what I found sometimes I turn it off while I'm using it a lot so um that's probably just me but I do that one thing is because it's quite big it's got a lot of parts and stuff it's a bit of a faff job in your bedroom but yeah these I don't really use them I do have the short barrels I have no idea where you can buy the long ones but I do want to try them out um I've got quite mm, it was thick I don't really know I, I have hair it, it gets very frizzy I just don't I don't rate them I the the fallout like i've done the whole i've watched so many videos on it i've done it i just don't eh. they're, they're nothing really special i rarely use them i know with the new dyson it's just got like one they don't have like two for two different directions and you just like flip it so i would like to try that but yeah and then these uh, i will use these this is actually quite good for curling um surprisingly like sometimes i'll do it like the night before and you wrap it around it's quite good i never really use this one because um it looks a bit scary compared to this one. This one looks more normal than this one I don't use. Um, it's probably not worth the like however much it is, but it is very nice. It's a very nice present. I very much appreciate my dad for getting it me for my graduation. Um, but yeah, it is good, but it's probably too pricey. But it, it is good. It's Dyson, you know, it was going to be pricey, but it is good. While we are on the topic of hair care, all the plaques. As you can tell, I like this oil. Um, pretty much because I don't really have any other hair oils, so I was like, oh my god, that's disgusting. So I have Olaplex, the shampoo, the conditioner, and number eight. I do like it. I definitely saw a difference when I started using it on my hair. I used to use Olaplex, the shampoo, conditioner every single day. Well, not every single day, but every time I wash my hair, which is every other day usually. I I liked it at the beginning, and then I sort of kind of went off it. I do think it's quite expensive. So now I use the Lee something or other. It's Cocoa, I think it's called Coco Loco. It smells incredible and I really, really like it and it's cheaper um, and it smells really nice as well. So I use that now. Um, so the shampoo and conditioner, eh, the good the first kind of times and it's good for like the odd time using it, but not using it all the time. I don't know. The oil I like and number eight, I also really like is like a nice little mask. I need to try number three though. That is something I definitely need to try. So it's good to try, but I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know. 
it does feel good on your hair though so it probably is worth it i feel like it has kind of like repaired like my damage but i don't use it like all the time anymore I'm sorry i can't pronounce it please forgive me this so i don't like it now you might be thinking oh but i've seen you use this i use the clear one i don't like the tinted one the tinted one looks bad it goes on patchy i don't like it it smells different i hate it you can hear there's loads in it it's 18 quid no one used it i don't like it i don't like it to be honest i don't really know why i keep it i don't know why it's still here i don't like it i like the normal one the clear one that's very very good don't get me wrong but this is a great dupe because i'm pretty sure the it's the same pairing company uh, and it's eight pounds, which is very, very good. Um, not as like lightweight. I definitely say it's not as lightweight. Um, I definitely prefer the other one, but it is a good dupe if you're looking for a dupe because I love dupes. Other things I bought because of TikTok. Um, I didn't actually buy this. My sister did. So thanks, Becca. Um, Verity, really good book. Um, I love a good thriller. This was very, very good. Um, I think I only gave it like three stars out of five on my Goodreads, but. I did really enjoy it, don't get me wrong, just because I gave it three doesn't mean it's good, it is, it's probably five stars, like, but it was three stars for me. But yeah, it's a very, very good book. Um, I'm more of a thriller than a romance, but yeah, I did enjoy this. This, I bought this because of TikTok, book talk. I love her. This is probably my new favourite book. Genuinely one of the best books I have ever read. It's fantastic. If you have not read this book, you need to read this book right now, like right this second incredible the vitamin babe loose powder i have it in fair rather than translucent incredible really really good i use it with a powder puff genuinely my favorite loose powder ever and um, it is actually the this only it's the second loose powder i've ever bought the first one i bought was from the body body care and it was like 199 but this is really really good um, i've seen a lot of people rave about the dior royal and then they were like oh actually that one's not that good get the clarins one so i did i got it in apricot um i like it i do like this it is very very nice um, it's scented, which I thought was going to be overwhelming when I first tried it, but it is nice. And I bought it from Boots and the lady at the Clarins counter was very nice. Sometimes you get people at like the beauty counters who were kind of mean. She was not and she gave me a load of free samples. So I like her. I hate lip liners. I swear they always irritate my lips. I swear like it always goes dry around it. This one does not. So I was like, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't even like lip liners. Why would I spend money on it? It's so good. So it's in pillow talk, obviously, lip cheat, whatever, whatever it's called. Incredible. Charlotte Tilbury really slapped with this one. I I am obsessed. NYX, bear with me. I, I've said this so many times, but I hated it when I first tried it and now I love it. This is in shade Fair. There is not a big shade range, I don't believe, of this, which is not great. It's obviously, it's quite like dark for concealer, especially for me. I usually go very light, but it is very good. I I do like it. It's, it's very good, as you can see, because I'm, I'm using it. So. SPF, is very, SPF is very very important and say if you forget it, I don't know how but if you did, this is a great spray on one it's very cheap, it's a Jeep of the Lorache thingy one, um, be careful because it can leave like a white kind of bleh, but if you shake it enough and do it right, it is good and it goes over makeup which is fantastic so you can top up SPF throughout the day. These Revolution Bright Light, I was told they were a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury glow ones, they are not I don't like them. They go on weird. They go on patchy. I hate them. I love Revolution with my whole heart. I hate these. I hate them. Like, I don't even use them. I bought two of them because it's like, oh, if they were the dupe, they're going to sell out. No. Bad. Hate. <laughs> but I do love Revolution. And this is like basically the same packaging, but it is different product. It is the eye bright. I use this for my contour and my contour, I think, looks pretty good. So yeah, this is a dupe apparently for the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand it is very very good i don't know if it's as good as the contour wand because i don't have the contour wand because it's always sold out but it is really really good i really really like this i think i've probably not got it in the perfect shade of my contour or well bronzer i got it in toffee because that was the only one they had in stock so i'll probably have a look at getting a different shade next time but so good thank you for watching part two of things i bought because of tiktok i could do a part three because i have so many things i bought because of tiktok so let me know if you want to see that and let me know if there's any products you think i should try from tiktok because i i love to buy things because i see them on tiktok i'm always looking